everybody. It's me, Marina Martinez Bateman. I am the CEO of New Coyote Consulting. We are an equity and communications firm here in the Pacific Northwest. Every Monday, I tell you my intention for the week, and every Thursday, I come back and I tell you how I did. This Monday is interesting. I have no idea what my intention for the week is going to be, except that I had a huge realization with the help of my coach today about memory and identity. So I yesterday got this big wave of anxiety later on in the day and it just continued all night long and didn't get much sleep last night and continued into today. And I was just like, well, you know, this is what happens. Um, obviously, like I as a person just kind of have a baseline of anxiety just due to my life and everything my brain chemistry, my experiences, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And then of course, there's the larger band of anxiety that comes from living through a global pandemic, which is still going on. And, uh, you know, then there's the anxiety of starting a business and running a startup and everything that is also a big anxiety. And then of course, um, you know, little anxieties that come with just like circumstances, family situations, political situations, etc. And then um, lately, of course, the surge from Delta has been extremely stressful and weighed on my heart very heavily. Um, not just for my people here in Oregon, but my people all around the US and the globe are experiencing negative ramifications because of Delta. And it's, um, it's hard to see people suffering and see people be stressed out and put in um, bad situations due to this stinking stupid virus. Um, also, as um, has occurred a lot over the last four years, the Proud Boys, who were a Nazi gang, came to Portland again yesterday. And um, there was an active shooter situation about five blocks from where I was. And I didn't know about that until I got back home and I was safe and I didn't even know what was happening while I was there. Um, but it's a stressful thing to think about, um, especially as a person of color and a queer person. Um, it's very hard to know that someone um, who has an ideology that um, wants you dead is, uh, is hanging out with weapons uh, super close to you and has come to your city specifically for the purpose of threatening you or people like you. Um, so I was just like, well, those things are enough to stress a person out, to have a big wave of anxiety. Like it's quite normal <laughs> and stress is cumulative, like I've said before um, many times on this channel. And then today I also was thinking about how I think about myself and my life. We're coming up on two years of me running my own company. First as Letteromatic, which then morphed into the consultant consultancy, New Coyote Consulting. Um, and I still think of this as a new position. I still think of the way that I work as a new thing. It's new that I get to sleep in. It's new that I don't work more than six hours a day um, like ever. <laughs> And I don't work more than four hours a day on average. Um, and I actually, we have a rule of thumb here at New Coyote, which is that if we start working more than six hours a day, we either bring someone new on or we give someone else more hours. And that's when working really good for me. It's helped us keep a pace with growth. It's not, it's helped us, you know, avoid being overwhelmed with new growth, which is nice and keep aware of capacity. But also, you know, I've talked about it a couple of times on this channel. Um, I have felt for the last, at this point, nearly two years, like I'm working on a proof of concept here. And the fact that we have managed to weather this pandemic so far, and not only that, grow and maintain, maintain stability and grow <laughs> at the same time and are still growing is... I mean, how many more times do I need to prove this concept to myself before I can say that working less hours, making more money, asking for more money, and, you know, still delivering a quality product 
while being supported by money and materials um, and finding clients who are aligned with us fucking works. How much longer am I going to wait to say we passed minimum viable product for this business and this model a long time ago and we are now in the shipping it process. We are now in the we know it works, let's make it bigger, larger, more, you know, expansive. Um, and I think that's part of my anxiety is I'm thinking about this version of me that is like, that for whom this is still new and it's not new anymore. The way that we work here is not new. We've proven time and time again that respecting people's timelines and giving people flexible work hours and focusing on deliverables is the fucking answer. And that obsessions with, um, arbitrary, uh, old school, capitalist, white supremacist symbols of productivity and performance, like showing up in an office, going to meetings, um, keeping meetings at a certain length, or any of that is garbage and doesn't help people be great. And it is, it's causing me anxiety to think about that because I cannot hold on to this old version of me that's just trying things out or is breaking away from that system um, in the same way. I can still hold on to that, that version, but I can't hold on to them in the same way that I've been holding on to them and still be ready to go into a brand new thing and a brand new like dimension of working and thinking about working. I got to I got to come, I got to catch up <laughs> to where I actually am. I got to show up where my body is today. And, um, and it's hard, uh, to let go of, of a person who's trying to recover from capitalism. I mean, I think I'm still trying to recover from capitalism. I will always be trying to recover from capitalism because it's the dominant system. And also if I don't let go of those old wounds, those old stories, those old resentments, I'm not going to come into the future where my potential is, where we have the opportunity to break free of a system that has harmed us all. Not completely free, because this is the work of generations, but I am freer today than I've ever been. And, and that's not, this isn't even my final form. Like we have an opportunity to really make things fucking change. And it's not going to happen if I'm stuck in the past. And also because past work situations were so painful and were so traumatic, it's hard for me to let go of that because I never want to forget um, what it felt like to not take my power in an organization, in a system. And also, I will never forget that. Now it's time to look for the fucking future. And so my intention this week is to note, just note, I'm not going to try and judge it. I'm not going to try and change it. I'm just going to take note of every time I find myself dwelling on an old hurt or an old mistake or an old whatever. Just going to take note of it. I don't know how, maybe I'll write it in my planner or maybe I'll journal. I'm going to plan, plan on journaling every night this week and just be prepared to just say like those experiences were formative and also in they're in the past. So what's your intention for the week? I know mine is wild, but put it down below. See you on Thursday.